It's one of the best kept secrets in all of real estate. And one of the worst case scenarios, you get to keep the house. Welcome back, my name is Alex Beltran. I talk real estate. In this particular video, we're gonna talk about tax liens, which really are the best kept secret in all of real estate. I mean, I was in the real estate business for about four, maybe five years before I found out about tax liens. And even then, I brushed them off because I thought to myself, you mean to tell me that people who do not pay their taxes are all of a sudden gonna pay their taxes? I don't think so. I mean, who's gonna process this or facilitate it? Not to mention, like, they have to say that you're gonna get a double digit interest rate in return or possibly take possession of the entire house. Cause it's the only way that dummies will buy them. Kind of like NFTs and crypto. Because 16% of zero is still zero, but boy was I wrong about the tax liens, not the NFTs and the crypto. That was an obvious Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you that even within the world of real estate, tax liens are a very overlooked and underappreciated product. Buying tax liens is another method of finding properties below the market value with very little to no competition. How about them apples? Honestly, investing in real estate tax liens should be the very first thing that anyone who is interested in investing in real estate should learn. The real real estate for beginners, if you will, because you don't need any special type of license. The entry fees are far lower. You don't necessarily need to know all the ins and outs of repairs, and it really gets your feet wet with all the real estate lingo, bureaucracy, and paperwork that you have to go through in you know much larger real estate purchases. The only thing you really need is a modest amount of money to purchase the tax liens and to stick around for the redemption period because spoiler alert, you're gonna need to hire an attorney. You also need to find out where to find these tax liens and how to qualify these tax liens. And lastly, how to exit these tax liens. Oh, we, bought, we bought these fucking things, we have no clue how to sell. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And I'm gonna cover that in this video along with some pros and cons. As always, do your due diligence. This is a state by state process. Do not just listen to some random dude on YouTube. If you want to get accurate information for the given state that you want to invest in tax liens, go to that state's tax assessor's office. I know that sometimes different states call it different names, but generally speaking, it's called the tax assessor's office. I'm only going to talk about surface level aspects of investing in tax liens. I cannot stress this enough. A Google search or a YouTube search is not sufficient. There's a lot of information that is missing or completely incorrect. There's a lot of nuance to investing in tax liens. Like I said, this is a state by state process. You have to go directly to the source, which means you have to go into government offices. Keep in mind that the DMV is a government office and you know how fun that is. And I'm going to tell you right now, the DMV employees are all stars. They're super efficient and they'd leave you with a very pleasant experience in comparison to the tax assessor's office. If you've read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, keep in mind that the author, Robert Kiyosaki, went directly to the tax assessor's office, took the head of the department out to lunch so that he can get all of his questions answered. I'm just saying. So what is a tax lien? A tax lien is a legal claim against a property for neglecting or failing to pay the debt. In this case, it's the government's claim to the property for not paying property taxes. Rather than the government being in the red, they sell the tax liens to the public. Yes, I said the public. There's a lot of misconception out there that thinks that you have to live in a particular state in order to purchase tax liens in that particular state. That is not the case. You just have to be there for the auction or you can buy these tax liens secondhand off of other tax lien investors. That kind of falls a little more into the exit strategy category, which I will talk about later on in this video. So where do you get said tax liens? Well, I already kind of mentioned it. It's from the tax assessor's office. Now, some states, the list is free. Others, you have to pay 10 to 25 bucks to obtain that list. Uh, this is where you get the list and you do your due diligence on all of these properties, no exceptions. There are also third party websites that make it easier to bid on these tax liens. Um, 
they're just kind of easier to navigate and they aggregate a lot more information for you to see. They're usually more expensive and they have a lot of extra fees. So, you know, pick your poison. So how do you qualify tax liens is a very good question. It is a very broad topic and there is no blanket answer. What I can say is that the basic principles of real estate always apply. Location, location, location. Is the property gonna tax flow? What are the repair costs? The last thing you wanna do is buy a property that is worth less than what you paid for. I mean, isn't that true for any investment like ever? This is why you have to be so diligent with your due diligence. The additional thing that you have to add to tax liens is opportunity costs because your money can be tied up for a couple months to a couple years, depending on which state you invest in. Yes, obviously you will get your money back plus a very healthy amount of interest. Or if you don't get your money back, you do get to take possession of the house, but you still have to consider the opportunity costs. Which brings me to the exit strategy. There are a lot of tax lien investors that purchase the tax lien and immediately flip it because they don't wanna stick around for the redemption period. The redemption period is where the current owner of the property has the right to pay off the taxes plus the fees in order to remove the lien from the house and keep the property. If they fail to make those payments, then the property has to still go through the entire court system before you are able to take possession of the property. Sounds a little bit complicated, I promise you. It's not. <laughs> but you can see why your money could be tied up for so long and why so many tax lien investors just wanna quickly get their money and move on. All right, so let's just say that you do decide to stick around for the redemption period. You're gonna have to hire an attorney and there are several things that can happen during the redemption period. One of which is the owner of the property pays off all of the taxes plus all the fees and all the penalties and gets the lien removed, in which case they get to keep their house. And you will be paid back with a very hefty interest. You just have to make sure to keep everything very well documented because they will pay you back. And then the other thing that can possibly happen is that the owner of the property doesn't pay, in which case you can go into foreclosure and then take possession of the property. Now you've already done your due diligence just like I told you to do. You should have already known that if you get possession of this house, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna wholesale it, which is essentially put the house on the market as is and see what what you can get out of it? You can either fix and flip the property, which I really hate the flipping process. I have an entire video talking about how much I hate flipping properties. It's not really investing in real estate, it's gambling. Anyway, I'm not gonna go too deep into that. You can watch that video, I'll link it up here somewhere or you can fix and rent it out or fix and live in it. I mean, I guess it's your property. You can do whatever you want at the end of the day. All right, so let's talk about the pros of investing in tax liens. You do get to find properties for pennies on the dollar. Now, okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Everybody who talks about tax liens is always talking about that $500 lien, which got them a $100,000 house. Now, even then that number is a little bit misleading because you have to pay that $500 lien plus attorney fees plus other miscellaneous fees. You're probably closer to $1,500. With that said, even $1,500 for a $100,000 house, you can easily see why a lot of people dismiss tax liens all together. I mean, I have people that are like, no, tax liens never work. That's why I'm never gonna invest. So seasoned real estate investors will go nowhere near them which is kind of another pro because, um, you know, you get less competition. And now for the cons. The cons are your money is tied up for a significant amount of time. The next thing is due diligence is key. An exit strategy is key. Knowing how to get in, knowing how to get out, knowing what to choose is very vital. Now, this last con is a major con. And the last con is the fact that you're dealing with foreclosures. So chances are you're gonna have to evict the previous owners from your house. It is the unfortunate side of real estate. I try to avoid it in my due diligence. I always try to target vacant properties. However, if that is a strategy that you like to take, then by all means, but it is a con. And look, it's impossible to take a deep dive into tax liens in one YouTube video. I don't even think you can cover everything in an hour. Um, 
honestly, it is best for you to go to your tax assessor, get the information straight from the horse's mouth and do your due diligence, do your due diligence, do your due diligence. Should I get a neon sign back there that says do your due diligence? Because that's really what you need to do. <laughs> go ahead and comment in the comment section down below if I should. And question of the day, have you purchased tax liens before? I would love to hear your experience. Go on ahead and comment in the comment section down below. With that said, hit that like button or that dislike button. Doesn't matter as long as you interact with the video. If you wanna know more about real estate, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. But other than that, I will catch you guys next week. Peace.